Today we're going to cover the opening of the registrations for Steamava CBT playtest. Uh, we know that since earlier this week the registrations have been opened on Steam. So if you head over to Steam right now and press register for the playtest, you'll be able to register for the game. How that works is quite simple, you just register for it, you get a notification that you have registered. And as soon as the game becomes available, which is on the 26th of November, you will be granted access to it, given you've been selected. As far as I know, at this stage, pretty much everyone's going to get accepted. So just make sure that you request access now. Uh, I do believe they still follow the first serve, uh, first come, first serve uh, format. So yeah, the quicker you are, the more chance you're going to be in there. But I'm pretty convinced that if you sign up now, you, uh, you should be fine. Obviously, I don't want to cut the video this short. I do also want to have some stuff to talk about and with some stuff to talk about we will move over to the article that I posted on Reddit earlier on today which is titled Steam Ava Opens Registrations for CBT Playtest. Before I'm fully going to dive into this article I also want to let you know that Neo has started sharing weapons that will be available in the CBT Playtest and Neo is also allowing partners to share secondaries and melee items over the weekends. Uh, so quite a few items have been shared already. The weapons directly shared by Neowiz are the M4A1, the FRF2, and the MP7A1, which will be available in the CBT playtest. Another weapon will be uh, announced on Tuesday. And then for what the partners have shared, the partners have shared the Cold SAA, the Glock 12C, and the Beretta 92FS. And diving into the information. So, I'll just read it out. After a good year of development, Steamava is ready for the f first real test, a CBT play test on Steam starting November 26, 2021. Neowiz has worked hard to deliver the best build for the global release. This means that some changes have been made to the already existing builds, of which some will be disclosed in this article. So, this article that I was allowed to post gives a little bit more insight as to what has changed primarily since the, the March 2021 supposed release, which of course didn't come. Uh, not everything is included. I'll also state it up front, but a couple of things will be highlighted in this article to uh, to make it a little bit easier to understand why we've had a delay. Yeah, this already mentioned, so the registrations have opened now. There's a link in here as well. I'll also put this link in the description so you can register for the game. Uh, you'll be able to access the game from anywhere in the world except for, of course, the countries mentioned before. So South Korea, North Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Macau, and Hong Kong, of which five of these countries, of course, already have a version running. So Kava, Java, or Tava. And one country, of course, has some uh, <laughs> some further reason for that, but I think that's uh, that's abundantly clear. Uh, the exact time uh, for, uh, for the start of the playtest, however, has not been confirmed. Uh, we only know that the date is as KST, which could be mean that for people living in North America or South America it can, that it is the 25th that is highly possible I assume that they're gonna start it in Korean working hours so they'll probably be closer to midnight for Europe and I think the previous day in, in North and South America that's what I predict but again I, I to be honest with you I don't have an official uh, time either so I think that will become clear in the in the coming weeks leading up to the to the playtest then, probably the most important thing, the changes since March 2021. So Neowiz has spent a lot of time tweaking the game since March 2021, although it remains quite unclear what really has changed. We've been granted exclusive access to the newest information regarding the changes. So uh, balancing and stability is what I addressed in this article. There is more, but I'll just go over it and leave a, a few remarks for you. At uh, first of the balancing, the balancing of the weapons has been updated. This means that weapons familiar in the other versions will not have the same stats as they do in other available builds. This is important to note because we already know that some of, uh, well, three of the weapons have been disclosed. Two of them are currently in the shop. So the M4A1 and the MP7A1. The FRF2 is not in the current shop. The fact that it's noted here and that we've been able to share that they will not have the same stats as they do in other available builds means that Neowiz has done balancing to, uh, well, adhere to a new ecosystem, I guess, in, the, in this build. So it will be quite different. I have to say, though, stat changes. Mechanic changes are not there. It's simply stat changes in order to balancing weapons. So reason for that, Neowiz wishes to start fresh in order to make the weapons relevant again, starting with some of the most iconic items like the FRF2 and the MP7A1. 
And then the further note, which is also very interesting to read, Neowis has also addressed the balancing in terms of pay to win, diminishing the impact that it has on the game. Now this is rather vague, uh, because they don't really disclose in what way uh, pay to win will be diminished, or in what uh, uh, yeah, what quantity, uh, or what the impact of pay to win will be in the end. Um, uh, yeah, Neowis for now refrains from making more comments on that. I'm also not allowed to make co more comments on this matter. Uh, all I can say is uh, just look for pay to win elements in the uh, the playtest, the CBT playtest, so you have an idea of what this exactly means. If you can spot them or if you cannot spot them, and what that what this might mean. Then stability through uh, uh, through thorough. Thorough testing, it became clear that there were some stability issues leading up to the March 2021 release. These were fixed in time, but Neowis has taken the time to further improve the stability of the game. What this means for you as a player is that you should be able to enjoy the game on both new and older machines. This also gives some more insight as to what was happening leading up to the 2021 March release. Uh, there were some issues with the game, game-breaking issues uh, with the game. Neowis was able to fix them in time, but also mainly because of all the, the feedback that was coming in in terms of balancing, so the two things we've already addressed before, Neowis decided to delay the game. So this is the reason for that. So people that were wondering like, hey, why are they delaying the game? What is going on? This is the reason why. And I think e even though you don't know the full extent of what really is changing, this uh, should hopefully help to, uh, to give you some more information on that. And then lastly, the final notes to every aspiring content creator, make sure to join the partner program uh, for AVA at the link. Neowis will be providing several perks for partners as well as uh, hands-on access on upcoming information. Also make sure to stay up to date via the following social media channels for which we have a website, a Twitter, a Facebook, a Discord, and for Chinese users, a Weibo and a Kalea, which is like the, the Discord in China. That's all that I wanted to address in this video. Make sure to head over to Steam and uh, register for the playtest if you haven't already. And uh, I'll be looking forward to see you in about five weeks from now. So, see you then.